Hey, that's where I write at. It's not fancy. It's not a big fancy office. <laughs> I don't have a lot of overhead because it's pretty much a corner in my house. Uh, but that's the chair I sit in. That's the little stand I have some of my notebooks on. Um, that's where I write songs, movie script ideas, books, short stories, poems, prayers. I have like a mini book of prayers. Um, children's books. You name it, it's getting writ <laughs> right there. Uh, I thank God for this little piece of my world. Um, I uh, was just thinking uh, a few weeks ago, um, I got the opportunity to uh, sing with Melinda Doolittle. Well, sit with her and sing with her. Uh, we spent about an hour together, and um, she's a wonderful, wonderful woman, and funny, and uh, I didn't expect to see her. Um, I, It was completely unexpected. I completely unexpected. Um, but I praise God for those moments because uh, things like that seem to happen to me often, um, where I am on the spot with someone who um, is uh, a mega star or something, you know, uh, and, and I don't want to put her on the spot and, or, you know, anyone on the spot and on the spot. I'm like that. But, you know, in public eye, if people know you, they're like, that's a major superstar. You're a superstar. You're this, you know, you have this gravitational pull, uh, which is, a tr which is true. Um, but I thank God that, um, and, uh, <laughs> I, it's so funny. I, some people, someone asked me once, "Why don't you get starstruck?" And it's like and I said, I, "I." It's not that I don't get starstruck, um, because you know I work with and have had the opportunity to meet so many wonderful people who you know have had the gift of blessing hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people every day with their life. Um, and I have, you know, I've been given the unique opportunity to be able to walk alongside them and like be their friend, like cool. Um, so it's not that I don't get starstruck. Um, like with Melinda, oh, it was great, and we got to sing, and it was just wonderful. And I just praise God for these minutes and these moments. Like God, thank you so much, because um, you know I cherish these, and I He keeps bringing me, bring me back to why. Uh, someone asked me, why? it didn't seem, it seems like you don't get starstruck. Like when you meet someone, you are just cool, calm and collected. Even if you've never met them before, you're just like chill. Um, and that is something I think God put inside of me. Um, and he was revealing to me that it's not that I'm not starstruck. It's that I understand that he has a purpose and a plan for everyone who comes inside of my gravitational pool. And if I have to go into their gravitational pool, hear me. Um, it's not that you have to stop being who you are so that person can be who they are. It's that there are times where God needs the sun and the moon to come together and create this supernatural event for others to recognize who he is. Sometimes you have to get the sun to come in front of the moon and create a, a lunar eclipse. And you sometimes you have to have the moon to get in front of the sun and create a solar eclipse. Um, but sometimes you have to, God has to do that to get people's attention. Um, and stop because he has stopped the the way we normally see things and he's taken the night and turned it into day or he'll take the day and turn it into night but he has to take two major forces to come together to create those moments for people to recognize Woo, God is so much bigger than this little thing I was worried about this morning hmm? uh, he just turned my night into day and a day into night he may do that with somebody. He may do that with another person. Somebody may come. Uh, you have some, somebody may come into your orbit. You have to recognize God is not trying to throw you off your axis. He doesn't want you to stop being who you are. He doesn't want you to, you know, get timid or stop spinning or or let go of the stars or the planets that you have rule over. He wants you to act accordingly alongside the other person he has gifted to stand along with with you for those moments. 
and it may be for a moment, it may be for years. Um, you have to understand who you are in that moment and say, God, I want to be whatever you want me to be. I want to keep spinning wherever you want me to spin. Um, if this is my planetary alignment right now, then so be it. And if you're going to add some more stars, if you're going to add some more um wonderful uh, celestial events, bring it on. I want to be that for you. I never want to stop shining for you.